Hi everybody, so unfortunately the PlayStation camera and base PlayStation 4 can't use the PlayStation 4's built-in DVR to record live gameplay and a live PlayStation camera face cam at the same time. You can stream them both at the same time to YouTube and Twitch, but if you want to create an edited video of that live content, then there's a few more steps we need to take. So if you want to make a video like you're seeing here, but edit it normally to make it shorter, you can't if you just want to use the base PlayStation 4's built-in DVR. Of course, the simplest answer is to stream to YouTube and Twitch with the face cam on and then download that file and edit it on your PC. And with a slight modification, in essence, that's what we're going to be doing. The catch with this is that the PlayStation 4 doesn't allow you to make a stream that's private. So you're streaming the whole thing publicly first, which is spoiling the whole point of creating an edited video of the live footage in the first place. Now, the solution in this video leaves you with a gameplay file that you've got to edit on your laptop. I haven't had any luck importing downloaded files to ShareFactory, but I'll talk more about that at the end of the video. The secret ingredient to be able to create edited face cam live gameplay videos is to create an account and stream to daily motion. If you've ever streamed or uploaded videos from your PS4, you'll know that Daily Motion is the option you've seen a hundred times but never used. Daily Motion is a video streaming and playback site that isn't too popular in the US and UK, but is used a lot in France and on the continental Europe. So that makes it a perfect quiet place to stream our videos to so that we can then download them from Daily Motion and then edit them on our PCs and then upload them to YouTube. The first step is to simply go on over to Daily Motion and create an account. And then go into your PlayStation 4 settings menu, sharing a broadcast, link with other services, and enter the details of your Daily Motion account. You're now good to stream, so connect up your PS camera and make sure that you've clicked on the box to include the camera in your stream. Start your stream, play your game, and when you're finished, head on over to your Daily Motion account on their website and wait for it to finish processing. I like to set my videos to private on Daily Motion as soon as possible because I don't want people coming to Daily Motion to see my content. I want them to see it on YouTube. Now, the slightly tricky part. We need to download the video file from Daily Motion to our PCs. And as there's no direct download button at the moment, we need to use a third party service. If you just do a quick Google search for download Daily Motion videos, there's plenty of services that will come up. I've used uh, www. I think it's telecharge run video, rune video .com or something like that, and it seems to work okay if a little slow on the download speed. Try other services, but only ever download your video file and never their additional software. You normally just paste the URL of the video into their little box, and then the site then creates the links to download your file. Once it is downloaded, you can edit it on your PC using Premiere Vegas or whatever your preferred video editing app would be, and then upload it to YouTube. Great created, edited live gameplay footage of your PS camera, face cam, and your gameplay together. Hopefully, at some point, ShareFactory will be updated to allow it to import a wider variety of video files and versions of MP4s. The main problem with imported files seems to be the video keyframe interval settings. Now, I'll put a link in the description below to a video by Jags29 where he shows you how to use Handbrake, a free video encoding software, to try and address this problem. I just couldn't get it to work for me, but you might have better luck and then be able to edit your videos in ShareFactory on your PS4 by transferring the file from your laptop to your PS4 and the USB thumbstick. Okay, so hopefully this video has been helpful. But any questions or comments you've got down below, if you enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.